Yeah, yeah. I, I, I decided on a couple. Good luck with good luck with that. <laughs> <Good luck. laughs> I've made sure y'all ask the right questions with Russ. Uh, Mello, how, how long have you been lobbying Frank to include uh, the the lob dunk package for you in, in the playbook? No, that, that, that's just a connection that me and Russ had. I, that's not in the playbook. I'm joking. Mello. I know that. I'm just saying that. That's not in the playbook. <laughs> but no, that's just a, you know, that was just a read that, uh, you know, me and Russ always try to connect on that. Uh, and I, I just saw the defense lifted and once I gave him the look, he, he knew where to throw that. Is is that does that feel good to kind of have a play like that in, in year nineteen and and just to kind of show off you can still get the hops up? I'm not supposed to be able to jump no more. And, and just, like, that's what they say, right? I don't know. Again, I just I play basketball, man. So whatever, whatever it is, if it's a a lob, if you know, if it's a bounce pass, whatever it is, I just try to go get it. But that's something that I've been doing, uh, you know, probably my whole career. <clears throat> that that spin lob. So it's just a matter of, you know, having that connection with with uh with, with Russ or whoever's whoever's throwing that pass. No, you've made shots your whole career. You made shots all season long. One thing that Frank and Anthony were talking about tonight when it comes to you was AD was talking about how much you were talking defensively, and then just Frank said like <laughs> everyone's talking about LeBron in year nineteen. Like, hey, Melo's playing pretty remarkably as well. Uh, when LeBron's not with the group, does your role change at all? Is it, do you consciously think about your no. presence? My role, my role doesn't change, uh, you know, regardless of who's in, who's here, who's not. My role doesn't change. Uh, I, I'm, I'm still the same, you know, vocal guy, you know, on, on the court and locker room, I'm still the same guy. Uh, I, and I know <clears throat> the roles may change a little bit on the court, you know, but outside of that, I'm still the, still the same person, whether, you know, Brown is here or not. And I still have to be that, that, that vocal guy. I still have to be, you know, the guy who talks out there, the guy who, you know, watches films with the guys and just being me. I, I don't think I can change that. M Mello, when, when this team has been kind of hit with in-game adversity, teams have gone on runs, have taken double digit leads for you. I think it's fair to say that you guys haven't responded very well to those situations this season. Um, why did it happen for you guys tonight? Uh, was was there any discussion at halftime? Was there a recommitment to defense? Uh, what did you see that kind of allowed you guys shake off that second quarter and still? Well, just the flow of the game. <clears throat> when you when you playing against a team like Portland, who have you know, high power, you know, players over there who can get it going. Uh, Anthony, who's, who's been playing phenomenally this this season, and you know stepping up to the challenge and kind of leading that team, you know, with, with his play, you just gotta you gotta adjust to it. You gotta you gotta adapt to to the game. You gotta make in game adjustments. It wasn't really nothing that was said at, at halftime, other than you know we we didn't we didn't do our job in that second quarter. Uh, so it, it much didn't have to be said after that, and we just came in and we we locked in in that, that second half. Hey, Melo. Uh, you know, you've had a lot of big scoring nights in your career. Uh, tonight you started out, I think, five of five from three. When you're shooting the ball well, do you do you feel like you're hot? And and if you're if you feel that way, like what does that what does that feel like? I, I honestly I, I can't explain that. It's 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 hard. Uh, it's hard to get you to understand that. If, no disrespect. Like if you haven't ever felt that, like it's hard to you know, tell you what zone that, that is or what it feels like out there on the court. It's just, it's, it's a good feeling. You, you know, things are just clicking, things are going the right way. Uh, you, everything feels like it's aligned. Uh, and it, it, it's not just in the game. I mean, the whole day just feel, just felt, you know, just, I was flowing today. I don't, I don't know why, but it was just one of those days you wake up, you feel good, uh, maybe rested, you know, from the, from the long road trip. That, that could have helped too. Uh, but uh, also understanding the implications of our games now, that, you know, that, that we have to step up and we have to go try to win these games. Um, speaking of zones, I mean, the, the fourth quarter AD played, um, obviously playing and through some fatigue and, and making some key plays for you guys. AD was saying that you've been such a crucial voice for him and kind of motivating him and, and getting him <coughs> to make some adjustments in game, I guess. Um, what, what do you kind of see as your role and, 
and what what can what can AD do to kind of push himself to be that guy that he was in the fourth quarter today more often? That's that's just a mentality. I, I can't tell him, you know, how to be or what to. I don't know what he's thinking. You know, out there on the court, it's just my job is uh, <clears throat> to be there for him and then let him know what I'm seeing, you know, on the court. Things that can help him, things that can help us, and just keep that that dialogue open between you know him and I. So <clears throat> I, I have to keep that up. You know, I, I know the type of player he is. I know who he is, uh, and I, I want him to reach that every night. And so I'm always, you know, being his ear, talking to him, uh, you know, giving him advice here and there, and just letting him know things that I may, that I may see on on the on the bench that he doesn't see out there on the court. So. You know, as long as we have that connection, I'm I'm fine with that. Carmelo, if I'm not mistaken, the Clippers are the eighth seed. You guys are ninth. Portland's ten. <laughs> I think I got this right now. Uh, you you asked the wrong person. Don't you? I, but <laughs> are you paying any? Well, I guess that means you're not paying attention to I the am. standings and what's going on, playing games, playoff games. How free you guys are from six? Are you? And if you're not, why not? Am I what? Paying attention to, paying attention to, to, to the standing I mean, you guys I, Yeah, are. I, I see it. It's not something that I, I try to focus on right right now. Um, I, I mean, I, obviously, I know where we at. You know, coach talk about that. We talk about that in the, in the locker room. Um, but again, man, it's, it's wherever we at at that time, at the end of the year, that's where we're going to be at. And I, I, I would prefer us to be healthy, you know, going into those situations. Do I want to be in the playing game? Hell no. But I've been in the playing game before. I, I, I know that I know the excitement, but I also know the the, the feeling when it when it comes to that. So I'd rather be a little bit more comfortable than you know playing in the playing game. And I'm sure my, my teammates will agree. Yeah, I'm sure y'all would too. <laughs> I'm sure y'all will too. Thank you.